So in a recent uh, Facebook group that I'm a part of, some people were talking about some book recommendations for mediumship, and I know that I've done this periodically over the years, but I just wanted to um, sort of touch on the ones that I thought were the best, not only for different stages of where someone might be at for their mediumistic development, but also the different kinds of mediumship that there are. And while I have a million jillion books, I pulled the ones that I think are the best and have the most value and really tried to whittle them down to the ones that I think held the most, that a person could get the most out of on their journey of mediumship. So the first one that I wanna talk about is if you're brand new to mediumship or brand new to spiritualism, um, I recommend Talking to the Other Side by Todd Leonard. It's a really um, just sort of thorough and comprehensive look at the history of how spiritualism came to be and some of the belief systems, tenets, philosophies of spiritualism. And there's some interesting studies about um, mediumship in the book as well. So that's number one. Now, if you're not necessarily a spiritualist, but just new to mediumship in general or opening up your spiritual gifts, the one book that I always recommend, it's one of the first books I ever read of the topic, um, but one of the first books that I always recommend to people, I always recommend to students, is Awakening the Mystic Gift by Jane Doherty. I think this is a fantastic, phenomenal starting place. I read it probably every year, maybe just for nostalgia's sake. Um, but I think that this is a very valuable resource. I would also recommend, even though this isn't specifically mediumship, um, psychic ability and mediumship kind of fall under the same umbrella. Mediumship works through those psychic faculties. The Rational Psychic by Jack Rourke. Um, it's just a very grounded, down-to-earth approach and looks at things from sort of a uh, scientific perspective as well, but embraces is, uh, psychic ability. So I think going in, if we kind of go into the subject matter with this knowledge, with these perspectives, we can do so in a way that's grounded. Secondly, we have The Unbelievable Truth by Gordon Smith. Um, it talks about all sorts of phenomena and the thing that I really like about this, again, very grounded down to earth, but breaks down a lot of myths, a lot of preconceptions because of things like Hollywood and outdated belief systems that we have. So very no nonsense, but uh, I think, again, kind of like with the rational psychic, you take this into account as you go into your development, you'll be doing just fine. Now, as far as the actual developing or unfolding of your mediumship, one book it's very old and very hard to get a copy of. But if you ever come across Mediums and the Development of Mediumship by Reverend Robert G. Cheney, uh, do so. This is an original edition um, that's been signed by the author. And uh, I, I paid very much a pretty penny for it. <laughs> Back in the day when it was first published, it was $2. Um, I paid many, 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 many times that. But um, basically in the book, there's like, I don't know, maybe 20 or so different mediums. And he sort of interviews them all and profiles them all. And they give their technique and philosophy around development. Um, this is an absolute gem. A book that I think everybody should have to read is On the Edge of the Etheric, Arthur Finley. And uh, this is another one that could also sort of, I could have put in the physical mediumship pile, but um, Life After Death, Spiritualism, Mediumship, again, from a grounded approach. Uh, everybody should have to read this. It's phenomenal. What has been to me of all of the books on mediumship that have been written, probably the number one um, Bible. And you can tell from how dirty the side is that this copy has gotten much use. The absolute, if I could only recommend one book ever on the development of mediumship, it would be Intuitive Studies by Gordon Smith. Get this, learn this, live by this. But there are others that are still really great, such as Mediumship Mastery by Stephen Harmon. 
This one is a little bit different. Um, I wasn't sure when I first got it, but there were things within it that I really loved and that I think makes it very valuable. Uh, the, the Medium in Manolos by Lauren Robertson. Um, not a fan of the title, but the information inside kind of looks at mediumship from a psychological perspective. And I think that that's very fascinating and there's some good information on development in here. Another one that is pretty damn good, Medium by Costanza Morningstar. So check that out. Um, one that's a little thinner, a little lighter, but still covers all of the bases in a, what to me I think is authentic way, Where Two Worlds Meet by Janet No Havoc. Next is a classic, it's a staple. Um, and it's one that again, I think everybody should have on their shelf. So You Wanna Be a Medium by Reverend Rose Vanden Einden. This, um, she was trained with Chesterfield, so there's very much an old old American spiritualist perspective. Um, and I think having those different perspectives is important in figuring out what we believe and why we believe it. Um, but there's a lot of good information. This is another one that's very good for people who are just starting out. And if you have more of a pagan or uh, occult or magical uh, path in your spirituality, but still want to embrace mediumship and incorporate it, then Magical Mediumship by Danielle Dion is um, a really good sort of fresh perspective through more of a pagan lens. So another topic that I often get asked about under the umbrella of mediumship is spirit guides. Uh, the number one book on spirit guides that I always recommend is Ask Your Guides by Sonia Chiquette. This one is fairly new, and um, I thought all in all it was a pretty solid book, Wisdom from Your Spirit Guides by James Van Prague. And then one that's been around for ages, it's a classic, it's still in print, it's very easy to get, um, but I think everybody should at least look at is Opening the Channel by Sinea Roman. Now, there aren't a lot of books. A lot of these touch on things like trance, but there's not a lot of books written specifically about trance. Um, if trance is something that is of interest to you, Intuitive Studies by Gordon Smith does have a section on trance and trance development, um, but there are really only two books that I've ever come across. One is Mediumship Within by Chris Ratter. The other one is Trance Mediumship by Judith Seaman. Um, both have some good things in there. Both have a couple things that I don't agree with, but that's life. Um, and lastly, I wanted to uh, share some titles for those who are interested in physical phenomena. So probably the number one book that I recommend for those interested in physical phenomena is Life After Death, Living Proof, and this is by Tom Harrison. Uh, it's all about the mediumship of his mom, Minnie Harrison. There's some really fascinating photos in here. Um, it's a very special book, so get this if you come across it. Another one that's more of a little booklet, um, this is specifically for direct voice, uh, is Trumpet Mediumship by Clifford Bias. One book that really just sort of opened my mind and showed me a totally different perspective of the mediumship world when I was new to the ideas of physical phenomena was In Pursuit of Physical Mediumship by Robin Foy. If you are interested in physical mediumship, you have to have this book. Sort of a close second to that, The Skull Experiment, and that's by Grant and Jane Solomon. And then if you're interested in some of the historical physical mediumship, one that I think is a treasure is The French Revelation, all about the mediumship of Emily French. The Witch of Lime Street, which is about the mediumship of Mina Crandon. And lastly, this one's one of my favorite mediums because I'm from Ohio and so is he, um, but Enchanted Ground, The Spirit Room of Jonathan Coons, and that's by Sharon Hatfield. So. Uh, all of these, I think, have some really valuable information, and I hope that you explore and find what you're looking for and enjoy them. Thanks, guys.